Hey guys, I have another knife review for you. Today I'm going to be talking about the Spyderco Bug. Uh, the Spyderco Bug is actually the smallest Spyderco currently in their line. And you may be wondering, well, exactly how small is this thing? Well, let me zoom out for you. And get ready for it. Here comes my hand. <laughs> it's a tiny little knife, as you can see here. Um, teeny tiny little guy, but I have to say, still a very effective blade. Uh, this is a slip joint knife, meaning there is no locking mechanism. The only thing that keeps it open is the pressure of the back spring here. Okay, very similar to your Victorinox knives, if you have case knives. Uh, same deal. Um, but as you can see here, it's teeny tiny. <laughs> little tiny guy. Um, let me give you actual measurements on this knife. Uh, you can, first of all, you can see it in my, my stand here, how small it is. Um, the knife overall open, as you're looking at it right now, is two and seven eighths inches long. Uh, close, it's one and five eighths inches, and the blade is one and five sixteenths of an inch long. So the blade is just over one inch long. But I have to say, even for one inch, it is very effective, and I will do a little paper cutting test for you at the end of the video. Uh, even though it's a very small knife um, and extremely, extremely affordable. Uh, the retail price, full retail on this, is $7.95. Uh, doing a little research, uh, most places have it for that, $7.95. But there's still places out there that have it cheaper, about 5 bucks. Um, the only thing that stinks about this is that if you're ordering online, uh, your shipping is going to cost almost as much, if not more, <laughs> than the knife itself. Uh, which kind of stinks. It's easier if you could pick this up. But unfortunately, you know they don't sell these at Walmart or anything, so it's going to be hard to find uh, in person. Um, the overall weight on this is only 0.4 ounces less than a half of ounce um, almost nothing nothing at all uh, this is actually great for uh, a necklace if you want there's a little lanyard hole and it comes with a split ring uh, I've actually been carrying this on my uh, work ID I have a ball and chain necklace for my ID tag um, and I've actually looped it through there so I have a little backup blade uh, backup to my backup blade <laughs> um, but it's always cool to just have it on there so I always have it uh, very very cool little knife by Spyderco. Let me bring in my ju little jeweler's loop here. Uh, of course, there's a lot of fine detail which my camera will never pick up because it stinks of detail. But uh, first thing you'll notice is it is stainless steel handles, solid stainless steel. Obviously, no uh, you know liners or anything like that. It's just too small. Now you can see the Spyderco Bug logo on there. Now it's very hard to see, but um, it actually has a very uh, light texture to it, so I'm guessing it's laser engraved. Uh, very cool, so it's not going to rub off, it's not paint. If I get on the blade here, let me switch hands. Come in close. You can see on one side it says Spider Co. And on the flip side, which is upside down, let me turn this around for you. Flip side of the blade says China. This is imported, it's made in China. But, um, it's actually pretty good, uh, decent blade steel for such a small, small knife. Uh, they're sporting the uh, common 3 CR13 MOV. You see that a lot in their um, bird line. Um, but again, just over an inch. I mean, this tiny little blade. You think, well, what can that do? Well, it can cut just as good as any of your other knives. Um, this is out of the box, just like all Spider Co's. You can expect a really sharp edge. Not a whole lot of blade to work with here, but if you're creative, as you can see, you can get the job done. So it is actually extremely sharp, you know, right out of the box. Um, this would be great for opening packages, um, you know, your small little tasks, things like that. Uh, you know, like I said in other videos, I don't mention it too often, but... For most of the stuff we do, day-to-day uh, -day cutting tasks, I'm talking non-military, regular civilians, you know, just our normal everyday cutting tasks, um, you don't really need too much more than an inch of blade. Um, you know, box cutters, those little um, disposable box cutters or the folding style, you know, razor blade holders, uh, they work perfectly fine. I mean, sometimes we get caught up in these big old massive jumbo knives because uh, we, we love them and they're pretty wicked. Um, but you don't need a whole lot, really, to get it done. I mean, this can open a box just as good as my uh, a Voyager X2. <laughs> um, I would definitely say this is the, uh, the definition of sheeple-friendly. 
Okay, so if you're in an area where you really don't want to scare anyone, uh, you know, you don't want any uh, legal issues, you know, you don't want any people looking at you and asking questions, uh, this is definitely a knife for you. And uh, if you definitely don't have a lot of money to spend, you can get a Spyderco knife for less than 10 bucks. And like I said, I mean, even though it's a tiny little blade, uh, it is very effective, as you saw there on the paper. So, very, very cool. I want to thank the person who uh, sent this to me. This was provided to me from a loyal viewer, which was awesome. They also sent me um, some replacement tweezers and things like that for my uh, Victorinox knives. My older ones were, I, I think, my Fisherman, and I had another one, too, that was missing the, the tweezers and the toothpick. So, uh, he sent me a couple, couple spares, which was awesome. Thank you so much. Um, fantastic little blade. Absolutely love it. Less than 10 bucks. Decent cutting edge. They get the job done. Definitely. That is the Spider Co. Bug. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I thank you for watching. Take care.